Today, we are doing something kind of random. Uh, I saw on our Nikki's post, so for those of you guys that know me, by the way, <laughs> you probably have heard of our Nikki. He's a lot bigger channel than I am. He's been on Mulholland for a long time, filming a lot of crash videos, a lot of compilation videos, a lot of cool stuff. Gotta make sure my mic was on. But he posted something recently about uh, a section of Mulholland now has a sign that says that you're no longer allowed to ride on that road twice within six hours time. What? I wanted to go see for myself to see if that's actually the situation. So I'm currently looking around Mulholland. I haven't seen it yet. I wouldn't be surprised if people have taken it down already. So let's go ahead and see if we can find it. I'm really curious to see what the situation is and what the, uh, the details are. All right, so I found the sign. It says no cruising. Two times past the same point within six hours is cruising. And we got the LA County code. This is the entrance to the snake. This is on the corner of Canaan and Mulholland. And now nobody's allowed to come through here twice within six hours. So that's ridiculous. I just, I don't understand that. I'm not really sure how to feel about it to be honest because I understand the situation, I fully do because for one, this isn't a racetrack. Definitely a lot of fun to ride on this road for a lot of riders. I personally haven't even ridden it yet. The thing is, is that there are so many homes posted up alongside of the canyons and I'm sure that there's been a community-wide effort within those uh, homeowners to find a solution to all of the loud noises, the crashing, you know, the burnouts, things like that. Like I understand it, it sucks. But ultimately, this is still essentially a neighborhood road. We'll have to find out what really happens once the Mulholland Snake is open again. I don't know when it's going to be opening. They had a bunch of rock slides uh, after the fires that happened in the area. So everything is kind of on standby for the moment. Officers are going to essentially be put in a position where they have to make a decision. You know, do we want to actually give this person a ticket if they ride on this road twice in six hours? I think it's, I don't know, it's, it's pretty absurd. The video that I'm actually filming for you guys right now is actually not the one that I came out here to film. I am actually working on episode three of Geared Up. I was gonna drop it this week, but I wanted to put it in a little bit, uh, a little bit of extra effort. So I think I'm gonna drop it next week. Um, it's gonna be about the Yamaha XSR 700. My first impressions video, I asked you guys for 200 likes and then I would create the video and you guys gave me way, way, way more than that. So I'm gonna hold up to my end and been doing a lot of riding, trying to focus on a bunch of details, you know, how the bike rides. I know the three main points I'm gonna be talking about are performance, style, and then overall comfortability. So make sure you guys tune in, subscribe, so you guys don't miss that release. All right guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Go, 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 go.